Hello and welcome to my new video. Today I want to show you how to create this nice looking happy birthday card inside Microsoft Word and it should be fairly easy to follow because this is very simple and we are trying to get this hand drawn look which also means that we don't have to care about precision that much. Ok, so let's get started. I will start in a blank document and the first things first I will jump into layout and set the orientation to be landscape. The next thing we want to draw the shape of the rainbow so I will jump into insert shapes and I will try to find some shape which looks like a rainbow which is pretty much this one called block arc. So I will draw it with my mouse and you can see it almost looks like a rainbow but what I want to do is press the shift key on my keyboard just to keep the same aspect ratio and then release my mouse. Now we have two yellow handles, the first one changes the starting angle, the second one changes the ending angle but as well as the shape itself. Now we want to apply this hand drawn look and it only applies to outlines so we don't care about the fill that much so I'll right click and select format shape and for the fill itself I'll just change this to no fill, we don't need any fill but for the line we need much bolder line. So for the width I will change this from 1 to maybe like 30 points and you can see now it's kind of bold and the one and most important thing in this case is this sketch style. So if I open the drop down you can see we have 4 different options, it's called the none curved freehand and scribble and pretty much it changes the outline to be just a little bit wiggly so you can see it, it's a little bit and this is a little bit more and the last one is the like most uh, wiggle version i will most likely go with this one which is called freehand and it pretty much does what it says you know it looks like a freehand which is great for in our case what's even better is there is no other option and if you just uh, resize this or change the shape a little bit you can see it's kind of wiggling so we are we are getting different shapes every time we change the size of the shape or, or the shape of our shape which is great because we will never have two same looking shapes in our case okay so the only missing piece is we want to change this to a different color and i will start with the violet one so for the color of the line i will open more colors drop down i can also do it in here in the shape form a ribbon so for the shape fill i will select more fill colors and maybe they make this a little bit bigger and I believe for the violet one I was using maybe this color, I think so. And nothing has changed because I was using shape fill, sorry, I was using shape fill color. I should be changing shape outline color, not the shape fill color. The next thing I will just copy paste it, so control C, control V, and make it a little bit smaller like so, but there should be no gaps in between the shapes, so maybe like this. And for this one, I will change the fill to be blue. So I will open again more colors down here for the outline. I can do it as here for the outline, more colors, more outline colors, sorry. Again, make this a little bit bigger. And this time I believe I was using this one, but it's up to you which color you will be using. Again, copy paste one more time. This time I want green color so again make it a little bit smaller and maybe it's easier to change the size after you change it to a different color so i will open more colors and probably use one of the green colors like maybe this one this should be fine and then i can tweak the size now we don't care that much about this bottom part of the rainbow because it will be hidden later on so it's perfectly fine to keep it just the way it is make one more copy this one should be yellow and i think that i will just select one of the default yellow colors like this one Next one will be orange, again I'm perfectly fine setting the default orange color and the last one will be red or kind of like pink color. For this one I will again select a special or, or sp different color for using this dialog. And I think I was using from the standard colors I was using something like this, so that should be fine. Okay, then I want to tweak the shapes a little bit, so for this one I will open the selection pane which you can find in the shape format selection pane. It could be also found in the home ribbon below the select menu so selection pane is here and you can select individual shapes and maybe move those a little bit around using your arrows on your keyboard which is always better for you know some more intricate alignments like so but i think that this is perfectly fine as our starting point for our rainbow I don't want to spend too much time just to make this video short. What might be a good idea is to group everything together into one group. So I will select everything either by clicking in the selection pane with my control key pressed on my keyboard. The other way how I can select everything is jump to the home ribbon, select menu and select select objects and I can draw this selection rectangle. That should also select everything although sometimes it's a little bit tricky. You know you can see it didn't select two of those so I have to probably zoom out a little bit 
and make the selection rectangle a little bit bigger. Then I will jump into the shape format menu and group it using the group group function. And I don't know why it just jumped this way. Let me try to do this one more time. But you know, sometimes you cannot just, hmm, that's kind of strange. I had to probably manually move this shape to the right position using my arrow keys. Again, I'm not quite sure why it happened. Sometimes it's just a mystery. Okay, so that should be it for the rainbow shape. Now let me jump quickly to the previous document to show you what we want to achieve. We want to have those clouds below the rainbow and white clouds above the rainbow, just so it's kind of like sticking out of the clouds. So I will start with the blue clouds. Again, zoom in a little bit. And the blue clouds will be just, you know, regular ellipse shapes or oval shapes. So I'll just draw oval. And I will change this color to be light blue. So in the right click menu, format shape for the fill, I will change fill and outline this time. So I will maybe select this predefined light blue color. That should be fine. I will do it for both the fill and outline. And in the same way, I will change the width of the line to be maybe like 20 points and set the stretch style to some kind of you know, curved or freehand option. So there is a little bit of wiggling going on. And then I will duplicate this shape using or dragging the shape with the control key pressed. And of course, tweak the size a little bit for each of those shapes. And maybe, I don't know if this lighter blue, blue would work better or not, but I can, I can try it. Yeah, maybe the darker one looks better. Let's, let's keep it the darker one. And I'll continue duplicating this shape multiple times until I'm happy with the result, like so. This should be here. I can also use Ctrl C, Ctrl V shortcuts on my keyboard. That will be the same case. You are dragging the shape with the Ctrl key pressed is usually a faster option. Then I will shift click all those shapes, or I can again use the selection pane and just select those using the Ctrl shape in here. I will group everything together right click and select send to back so those are below the actual shape of the rainbow and then i will draw the white cloud so insert shapes oval and again i will draw some one big oval which should cover both the rainbow and the blue clouds and right click select format shape set the fill to be white for even fill but also the outline increase the outline with to maybe like 20 points and again set the sketch style to freehand duplicate it over this part of the rainbow and then just you know like free duplicate it multiple times so it's covering everything and of course change the size slightly bit or i can even have like small variations or sm small parts of those clouds if you really feel like you want to spice it up a little bit i can just create those very small pieces that will be randomly placed and should look a little bit better like so I, can, I mean, you can spend a lot of time trying to get the perfect looking shape of the cloud, but I think that we are fine for now. Again, I will open the selection pane and select all those white ovals by clicking with my control key pressed on my keyboard, group and group everything together. So we have the blue clouds, the rainbow and the white clouds. So the only missing part is of course to add the text. That is fairly simple. I will select insert shapes text box and I will just draw the text box like this. And I will just type in happy birthday, of course. Birthday. Hopefully that's spelled right. In the home ribbon, I will change the font. I believe I was using a font which is called Nike, Nike Lay. I'm sorry, I cannot spell it. Nikelene. Whatever, you can get it for free. I will post the link in the description for this video and just increase the size of the font and maybe change the alignment to be center aligned. And for the box itself, I'll, of course, I don't want to have those outlines. So I'll select the box in the shape format. I will shape, change the shape fill to no fill and outline to no outline. And that should be it. So the only missing piece is maybe I will make this slightly smaller. You can, you can see how it wiggles, how it changes shapes. It's kind of cool. Move it a little bit more to the top for both the white and blue clouds, as well as the rainbow itself, like so. And I think that I'm, I'm happy with the result. It looks fine. Certainly it doesn't look that nice as the previous example because I haven't spent that much time, but it's a great starting point and I'm pretty sure that you will make it even better. So that's it for today's tutorial. The last thing which I forgot to know to say is for the wiggle itself, for the hand-drawn look, this sketch style, I believe it was introduced in like 2019. So if you don't see this menu in here, it's most likely that you are using the older version of Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office. You should update to the latest version and you should see it. It's also worth noting that if I select the text options, 
for the solid line, you don't see the sketch style, so you cannot set the sketch for the text itself, for the outline of the text, which is kind of shame. Hopefully, in the next version, this option will be there. We will see. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. If you have any questions, feel free to post those in the comment section. If you are looking for some specific tutorial for some specific topic, feel free to post any comments as well. I will try to cover those in my next tutorials. Until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.